Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're checking out the Alpine X409 WRA JL 9 inch weather resistant off road capable navigation system available for the 18 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL as well as the 2020 and newer Jeep Gladiator JT. The system has been designed to be a totally plug and play installation meaning that you can do the job right at home by yourself in your own driveway or garage with just a few simple tools and a few short hours. It does not require any cutting or modification to your Jeep's dashboard or any of the factory wiring. You can check out our full step-by-step -step installation video by clicking on that info button. We'll walk you through the process from start to finish, getting the old factory unit out and the dash apart to getting the new X409 installed and everything put back together. Now, of course, we've come to expect a very high quality fit and finish from Alpine and the X409 delivers in every way possible. As you can see, this is putting a large nine inch screen into the dash of our Wrangler or Gladiator, and it looks like it's meant to be there right from the factory. Now, from a technical side, the unit features a 50 watt by four channel amplifier built right in. It also features three four volt preamp outputs, meaning you can expand the system with some external amplifiers if you choose. Now, in addition to all of those great features, thanks to the Maestro module, it does retain all of your factory controls and settings. Everything from your steering wheel controls, your volume adjustments, your hands-free controls, and it even retains all of your factory climate controls with an on-screen graphical display. Now, I thought today we would walk through all of the great features found in the X409. Now, of course, if we start with some of the most basic features here, like I mentioned earlier, we're getting a great high quality fit and finish from Alpine. Everything integrates very nicely into the dashboard of a Wrangler or Gladiator. Looks like it was meant to be here from the factory with a very factory-like button and finish. And speaking of those buttons, one of the really nice features about the unit here is not only is it a nine inch touchscreen, but we've also got all of these great hard keys on the unit that give us quick and easy access to commonly used functions like our volume controls, our favorites menu, settings menu, our backup camera, meaning the camera will activate automatically when we put it into reverse, but we've also got that great one-touch access to turn that backup camera on demand, which can be helpful if you're off-road or maybe you're simply hooking up a trailer or something in your driveway. We've got our track buttons, and then we've also got our audio and our navigation hard keys on here. Now, in addition to the hard keys found around the radio, one of the other very factory-like features we're getting from Alpine with the X409 is a replacement media center down here next to our window controls. So we actually remove the factory media center during the installation and replace it with this Alpine piece that features a great Alpine logo on the cover. It does feature two USB inputs, one for charging and one for our data connection for either our Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. We also get an auxiliary input as well as our HDMI input right there on the dash so that we can quickly plug in an HDMI source and watch that source up on the screen, of course, when we are parked and the emergency brake is turned on. Now, if we run through some of the other settings here, we can start by hitting the menu and going to the most basic functions. Of course, it does feature that HD radio tuner built right in, meaning we've got our FM and our AM, and we've also got 12 presets here right from the side. Now, the screen has been designed to be a very high contrast, easy to read screen, whether you're outside with the top open or with everything closed up, it's going to adjust to the lighting conditions to make sure it's always easy to read. It's also a low glare screen, which is gonna help. And it's been designed with a tap and swipe interface, which is gonna feel very familiar to when you're using a phone. If we tap the top of the screen, we can pull down all of our tonal adjustments and equalizer settings. From the side of the screen, we've got our presets, again, with that swipe feature that feels very familiar. And then we can tap to the right and we can bring over our navigation. As you can see, they've even got a great split screen setting here to whatever audio source we've got playing and the built-in navigation. If we tap it once more, we're gonna go all the way over to that navigation screen. And just like I mentioned earlier, if we're in that radio screen, well, we always have one touch access to navigation by simply tapping that navigation key. Now, as you can see with our navigation up on the screen here, this is gonna be our standard on-road navigation. It's gonna function very familiar to any other navigation system you've used. The magnifying glass on the right there, it's gonna bring up all of our navigation options so that we can input 
our destinations, save locations, popular places, things of that nature. Now, if we tap over, this is where we're going to see some of those off-road features start to appear. We've got Fun Treks trailheads loaded into the system right out of the gate, which means if you're close by to some off-road trails, well, you can pull those up right in the Alpine system. Now, if we want to check out some of the other off-road features, we can jump back to our menu screen here. One of the first on-screen items that we see is our off-road button. When we tap that off-road button, well, we see the background of the unit change to let us know that we're now in off-road mode. If we jump back over to our navigation, well, now we can see the screen has changed just slightly. Now we've got our inclinometers up here in the top left and right corners, giving us our pitch and our roll readouts. We've also got a compass in the center, and we're going to get some other readouts that we can change here. We've also got an option to record our drive, meaning that if we're headed out into the backcountry, well, we can set up sort of a breadcrumb system where we can start to record that drive. And then when it's time to turn around and come back home, well, we've got a great reference point on here to help you navigate back to your starting location. Now, some of these other offered readouts at the top of the screen are customizable as we can tap through them. So, of course, we've got our inclinometer. If we tap once now, we can see we've got our voltage readout as well as our latitude and longitude coordinates. When we tap it one last time, now we can see we can actually get a live on-screen readout of our tire pressures. So some very useful features when you're headed off pavement. Of course, once you get off the trail for the day, you tap that off-road button again, put it back into the standard mode, and as you can see, all of those off-road specific features disappear, and now we're back to an on-road style of navigation. If we jump back to the menu here, we've also got our iPod Audio, Pandora, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, and music, which is going to take us into our Apple CarPlay. We've got easy access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here. And of course, both of those using compatible applications, you're going to have easy hands-free access to things like making phone calls, sending and reading text messages, as well as compatible applications for navigation built into Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, we've got Apple Maps here, Waze, Google Maps, everything that we're very familiar with on our phone. Now, some of the other cool things we can get here are our vehicle info page. Now, as we already saw earlier, we've got our climate control screen, but we've also got a customizable gauge screen here. So we can add some additional gauges that we don't have in our gauge cluster that can be helpful when you're headed off road. We can monitor things like our voltage, our trans temperature, intake air temperature, and all of this is customizable with a number of different gauges in the screen. And we have a vehicle info page that we can jump over to, which is going to give us some more information about the status of our vehicle. We've got a readout of our battery voltage, if a door is open or closed, as well as the hood, and we've got our tire pressure readout on the screen as well. Now, another popular question I've heard from a lot of people with the X409 is the fact of whether it retains all of the ability to change and modify factory settings that the factory radio will do, and indeed it does. So if we jump over to our setup screen here, we can again see that great easy to use scrolling swiping interface, and we can swipe down to the bottom to our factory system setup, go into our Maestro module menu, and here we've got our vehicle features menu. Now, if we go through that into our vehicle settings, now we can see we've got access to all of those factory functions. We can modify what we see in the center cluster. We can make safety and driving changes, things like that tire fill assist, our backup camera settings. We've got access to all of our lights and door lock settings. Our remote start and comfort settings are in here. And we're also going to see the ability to modify and set up our auxiliary switches if you've got the auxiliary switches built into your Wrangler or Gladiator from the factory. Of course, a very important menu to get to to be able to set up what type of switch as well as whether it's going to be a battery powered or a switched ignition source switch. So as you can see, Alpine has incorporated all of the factory functionality built right into the unit. One of the other really nice things here when you're using the unit, if you make any modifications to any of your climate control, well, you see that it's going to bring up our climate control screen for a short period of time, letting us know what's going on with the system. And then after a few short seconds, well, the system times out, taking us back to our last screen that was displayed before we made any changes to our climate system. 
Overall, Alpine absolutely knocked it out of the park with this system. From the fit and finish, making it look like this 9-inch screen was meant to be here right from the factory to packing it full of a ton of awesome and very useful features and functionality. If you guys want to get more information or purchase an Alpine X409 WRA 9-inch weather-resistant off-road capable navigation system to put in your 2018 or newer Jeep Wrangler JL or 2020 or newer Jeep Gladiator JT. You can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any more comments or questions about the unit or how to get it installed or use any of the features, you can always leave those for us in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all of our latest product reviews. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail. Yeah.